So I just started doing it and I saw like success right away, like immediately. Uh, my business was totally changed. I was impressed. Like you started doing YouTube videos like four years ago, man. Yeah, way before it was cool. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. Absolutely. I wish, though, like honestly, I just recently learned about a year and a year and a half ago how to YouTube properly. But not even. I still have a lot to learn, but I wish I would have known what I know now, like four yeah. years ago. Because uh, four years ago, I was making videos that I thought I would like to see, but yeah. not what other people would really like to see. Working on a client's investment property. He has some tenants move out, so it's time to get in there and spice it up, get some new tenants. By changing out an old vinyl to a new modern tile, you can really add a lot of value to your home. In terms for a rental property, it can really make a difference by getting that good quality tenant. Once the baseboards are off and the floor is clean, we can start laying out our tile. This is the most important part of the job. We snap a chalk line down the middle to give us a nice straight line. Now that I got my nice straight line, I'm ready to tile. This is a product I recommend to all my clients. It's a quarter inch vinyl tile that sticks over any hard surface. All you do is peel the back, stick it down. One down, about 100 more to go. Now that my floor is done, I'm ready for grout. All you want to do is work the grout into the cracks and wipe it off with a wet sponge. When this is all done, it's going to look exactly like a ceramic tile floor. So recently I learned how to do like Google Analytics and see what people are typing in and I'm making videos on what they're typing in and yeah. it's well, like skyrocketing the views and absolutely. it's like god damn, like, I wish I learned that long ago. <laughs> yeah, because I was impressed like when you uh, did your mortgage rules. That was the... That was like... That was like a yeah, phenomenal... Like, oh, that was perfect yeah. and like you yeah. hit like tons of views and stuff because yeah. you were hitting all the certain That's my biggest success video so far. Yeah. yeah. They gotta live somewhere. Where are they gonna live if they can't buy a house? You guessed it. Hey, this is Matt Pichet, the Fruitful Investor and your investing coach. And today's video is a hot topic right now, how the new Canadian mortgage rules will affect investors. So uh, I gotta do more of those, obviously. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and so like, what's kind of your thoughts in general? Thoughts, like, approach on social media and all that Yeah, stuff. I think it's incredibly important for any business owner or entrepreneur to do you, or, uh, social media in general, but YouTube especially. But for real estate even more, because I think the real estate industry is a really old industry. Yeah. Uh, I will say older people, but they're doing it the old way. Yeah. And absolutely. if you are marketing on social media and YouTube successfully, you're gonna like blow it out of the water, I think. Yeah. For real estate investing. Have you found like does it really build up your credibility faster? Instantly. Yeah. Right? It's a funny thing that happens when somebody sees you on a camera, it's instant authority. Yeah. Which is really strange, but you just have to realize how the human mind works, I guess, and just yeah. use it, right? So YouTube is essential. Yeah. And so like right away when you started doing YouTube and stuff. Why? Like, did you see it as a way to build credibility? Like, did you yeah, know that yeah. right away? 
Yeah, I kind of knew about it just because I was on YouTube looking for things. Yeah. I just kind of figured, hey, I'm on YouTube looking for how to do this, how to do that. I'm sure other people are too. So I just started doing it and I saw like success right away, like immediately. Uh, my business had totally changed. So yeah. I just kept with it and kept killing, trying to kill it. Yeah. So, and now I'm just trying to like be the Kitchener guy. So yeah. that if any other realtor wants to become the Kitchener guy on YouTube, it's not even worth it because I've already destroyed it. Yeah, you planted your flag, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, like, don't even try it. So yeah. that's, that's the goal. No, and I completely agree with yeah. that. That's kind of what I'm trying to do with yeah, London, right? Sure. It's just establish myself as the expert before anyone else yeah. does in order to... Uh, cause that, that first mover momentum is definitely huge, yeah, definitely. right? And I've seen a couple of realtors like, make videos recently. It just fires me up so much more. Just, like, <laughs> put out like five a day. Like, <laughs> yeah. Don't even. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. So do you have a specific strategy then? I guess like I haven't really noticed. Like, do you have set days that you're releasing videos? And no, stuff? which is actually something. Obviously, that is like the key thing in YouTube marketing is that consistency schedule. But I, I just can't commit to it. Like, it's when something happens or like today is a crazy day. I have offers coming in. Yeah. And it's Wednesday actually, right? Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday, for me, see? <laughs> so, but Wednesday, I was thinking of doing like walkthrough Wednesdays. And okay, I, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's too hard. So, definitely, I put out a video at least once a week. Yeah. But uh, the specific day, I just can't do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, like, I'm very familiar with all your marketing related to like the real estate investor side. Are you also doing videos for like your per, like your listings for real estate? No, because I don't do very many listings because I am investor focused. Okay, like 90, so you mainly just yeah, like ninety five percent of my business is buyers, like buyers. Okay. So, but if I do do listings, I do one hundred percent do videos, which something realtors don't do. So I do crush it on that end. Mm -hmm. um, do something different than other realtors. Yeah. Yeah. If I ever do move into selling regular homes, which is a possibility in the future, um, I will have a complete like video focused platform. Yeah. Um, and so like right from day one as a real estate agent, were you investor oriented then? Yeah, I was an investor so for like, about a year before. How were you able to, just like from your personal network really, or how did you, or like how did you get real estate investors to want to oh, use you? To get to work with me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's the thing, is that a lot of realtors when they start off, they're told to market to their family and friends, that's mm -hmm. how they get their business rolling. Well, when you do investors, very few of your family and friends are investors. So, all my business was just uh, strangers, like, or, like strangers. So, yeah. marketing online. Yeah, so the first year I was a realtor, I made like $10,000. It was like a horrible year, right? Because I just didn't get it, the marketing, yeah. the online marketing. Once I got the online marketing, it was totally, but the next year, just totally different. Yeah. So. Yeah, like the funnel system that you've created is awesome on the real estate investor side of things. Nice. Like, I'm really impressed by it. Like, the videos and stuff, and then like, once you like sign up for one of the ebooks or whatever, and then seeing the uh, the additional video or whatever, like yeah. it seems really well polished, oh, man. I really like it. Yeah. Uh, how long did it take you to do that? Like, Honestly, it was like, was that your like initial try, or was there different versions in between? A little bit, pretty much. I nailed it right in the beginning, only because I hired a marketing coach. Oh, right okay. Beginning. So I did hire a marketing coach, and he just kind of taught me everything, and I just kind of got obsessed with it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, pretty much got the system right right from the beginning. I tweaked a few things. I used to have like an e-course, so it was like oh, okay. 40 videos over 12 months. Didn't really oh, work interesting. Out too well. It sounds awesome. That would have been a lot of work too. Yeah. Oh, it was. And I <laughs> thought it was gonna like work amazing, but it didn't really. So now I just do uh, all my videos get sent out every week. I think I have, I don't know, like a hundred videos or something, so it's a hundred weeks of videos. Yeah. So every week it just gets automatically emailed to my list. Oh, okay. So that works out really well. Interesting. I um, watch Ty Lopez like at least like an hour a day. <laughs> okay. Who, like, who are your big influences from YouTube or...? Um, from YouTube? Yeah, probably, honestly, Ty Lopez, for sure is a big influence. Not that I copy his style, really, no, but, but definitely just, something I watch a lot of. Yeah. Um, who else do I watch a lot of? I'm not sure, like... Yeah, are you familiar with, like, Gary Vee? Oh, yeah, Gary yeah, obsessed with Gary Vee. Okay, yeah. Never thought of it. Uh, watched a lot of his, not so much recently, but I used to watch, like, a ton of his videos. Yeah. Which is where the authentic marketing really came in, and the yes. social media. Well, that's why I wanted, because, like, yeah. he's very, uh, give it all away for free, because, like, yeah. at the end of the day, 99% sure. of people aren't going to take action anyways, exactly, right? Yeah. Like, the early, yeah. The early when I started out, so it just wasn't working for me. Again, I'm not an extrovert personality yeah. type, 
So I was trying to push something I wasn't. So I had way better success with online marketing mm -hmm. and bringing people to me. The way I see it is if I spend a Monday night or whatever networking with people, I waste three hours of my time, right? It's not wasting, but I'm giving three hours of my time. Right? Yeah. If I spend three hours making four videos, those videos are up online working for me 365, 24 7. Mm -hmm. So it's the same amount of time, but way better payoff. Yeah. I think. Right, so that's kind of the way of my mentality around it, business, yeah. business and marketing. When you're focusing on the new flip business and stuff, uh, is that really just going to be oriented towards like getting that business up and running, or are you also going to be like documenting that process for your channel, or like yeah. are you considering writing an ebook on that sort of stuff? Or I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the main focus is just to get that going, get the business alive. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll document on YouTube, only because my YouTube channel is really made for leads. So, yeah. in business, uh, it's not really like a vlog type. It yeah, be. no, I'm just it curious. It should be, maybe. I don't know. Um, right now, it's just like a marketing machine. Yeah. So, maybe once I get more successful and the business really pans out, then I might for sure document it. Yeah. And see what happens. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. Um, so, what's going to be the first steps in like getting the uh, flipping business up and going? Uh, just getting enough leads and see if the online marketing will work. Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Will the Facebook ads work? Will the Google ads work? And so not. how do you, like, uh, what sort of metrics are you using to determine that? Like, obviously, getting great deals is a great metric, yeah, yeah. but I'm assuming there's probably going to be some time in between when it really starts paying off versus yeah. when you start. Yeah, the biggest thing is how much money am I putting into this marketing funnel and how much am I getting back, right? Yeah. So that's the biggest. So if I'm putting in, like, $2,000 or whatever in six months and I get nothing for it. Yeah. To me that's not very good. So Yeah. I, I haven't got that far yet. Like it's only very early that I've started full on marketing it. Like a week, honestly. Yeah. That I've just launched everything and blogged it. So we'll see how it works. Interesting. But I definitely want to see a, a quick return. Yeah. I know a lot of people in marketing you should, you should wait a bit, but I want to see something quick. If I don't see something quick then I have to change something I think. Yeah. That's just the way I am.